Okay, so this one, this video is going to be about a practice technique that I employed or that I do employ whenever I uh, am practicing for a fighting game. It's something that me and my old practice partner, the Ghost, would employ. And it is, I'm not sure what to call it, but I'll, I'll just describe it. So what we would do, like, let's say there's an there's a important tournament coming up. Uh, an example I remember is a melee tournament was like that Saturday. And on Thursday, we might practice a little bit, but Friday, we wouldn't touch the game at all. We would not touch melee at all. Instead, we might play either some other video games we play, or we might play um, a different fighting game. Like in this particular example, the ghost, instead of playing, instead of practicing melee, he played DOA. He played DOA 3 or 4 or whatever, whichever one he was playing. He just played that online and just did that. And then I remember getting to the tournament. And uh, this one guy that we'd, we'd see all the time, he asked, you know, conversation happens, and he was asking, like, how much we were practicing yesterday. And the ghost calmly replied, none, I played DOA. And this confused the hell out of him. Like, how do you not practice before a big tournament? And the reason this works, at least for us, it worked is that it, it's not that it like distracts the mind from things you practiced earlier or previous in previous days, but um, it's kind of like a centering thing. You're still, by playing a different fighting game, you're still in like a competitive mindset. You're still adjacent to whatever's gonna go on tomorrow. The, thing you're waiting for the big tournament, but you're not, you're not like exhausting yourself on this one game, you're not burning yourself out on it, and it also, it ties into the idea of sleeping on something, because anytime you practice something, particularly in a fighting game, you know, you practice some combo, you practice some setup, you practice reacting to some string a particular character has that you don't know or that you had trouble dealing with. If you're practicing it for like an hour, you might be able to successfully perform whatever it is you're practicing by the end of your practice session. Maybe like a 30, 40%, 50% consistency. Like you can get it that many, or you can hit it that percentage of the time when it occurs. But then you go to sleep, you wake up the next day, you go to practice it again, and now your consistency rate is like 70%. Even though you showed more or less no improvement the day before when you were first practicing it, when you come back to it, you're much more consistent. Because, at least in my experience, the human brain does a good job of uh, internalizing and internalizing information and techniques and things like that overnight while you sleep. It does a better, uh, at least for me, it does a better job of uh, like really, what's the word I want to use? Uh, you know, putting it in muscle memory, basically. I don't, I don't, it's not exactly muscle memory, but for most people it is. Um, the brain does a pretty good job at you know, letting things sink in overnight. That's what, that's the phrase I want. And I more or less do, did this for my uh, campaign prep as a DM. I have everything set a few days before. I might go over a few things, but if I'm DMing on Saturday, Thursday night, Friday night, I'm not doing anything for my own campaign. Especially not the morning of. 
if I like write something out the morning of, it might be like a specific phrase or maybe draw a map or something like that if I have to do that. But I won't like do big story beats or any sort of like bigger campaign prep because I'm liable to forget it the morning of and just not get to it and possibly even stress myself out. Because it's not going to be internalized yet. When I have something internalized, it's much easier to bring up mentally and it's easier to improv around. So, you know, I had all these all these different properties set and like, okay, the party needs to get over this area and traverse this densely populated area. I don't want them to have to trudge through and sneak through this area that's packed with enemies. I want to give some alternate route that their target left behind. Okay, so I came up with makeshift rooftop, rooftop bridges and that ended up working out. But by doing my campaign prep well beforehand, and I fully admit this isn't always possible, you don't always have time to do that, and sometimes you do have to cram it in the morning of, but that is what it is. But if you have the opportunity, if you can do it days beforehand, one, it lets it sink in, and then also, it gives you time to ponder the design. Because the more you can ponder it, the more you can tweak it here and there. And sometimes the best, like, uh, the brightest spots of a campaign and of a game that players or that players will remember. Remember, the DM's a player too. The brightest spots that players will remember come from little moments that are tweaked in just the right way to shine. Like, the whole bit with in Site 27, which only my Site 27 players would really know this, uh, but I planned out that uh, Burke likes to eat sunflower seeds, so that gives them a little bit of a method to track him. They can find sunflower seeds on the ground, and it allowed me to paint his more monstrous form as the Burke Drake where he's all covered in plants and vines coming out of his neck. It allowed me to cover him, instead of just a shrub, he's got sunflower seeds all over his head. Or sunflower, sunflowers all over his head. And that was something I came up with much, much later. Because, one, I designed most of this months ago, and then sat on it for a while until we got an opportunity, like, basically until I moved into this house. And now I'm starting to DM. But I came up with the sunflower seed thing, like, three days before I actually ran the session. Um, and this is, this is all, that's also a principle that um, we use in my day job as a carpenter. Um, when, ta when talking with clients and going through what they what they want built, like they're in their design for like the bathroom that we're renovating. If they have time to think on it, like, you know, we come up with the design, like the, the layout and, and everything. And then it's like a month before we get started, they're going to have time to think about it. And then they'll come to us as we get started and like, Hey, can we do this instead? Can we add this? Can we take this away? And that's closer to what they actually want. Because if we just went right ahead and as soon as we had that initial design plan and just did it right away, after it was done, or when it was almost done, they might have those ideas of how they might want to tweak the design. So the more time you have in advance of anything you design, whether it's homebrew items or feats or entire campaigns or adventures or whatever it is, the more time you have between when you design it and when you run it, the more time you'll have to ponder it and tweak it. Now, of course, that can easily get away from you and you can over-design everything if you keep coming back to it like, no, do this, no, do this. But, so, 
I only usually jump at that and change the design if I have an idea I think is really good instead of what I'm going to call a positive idea instead of a negative idea, which is like, ooh, I could tweak this in a cool way that will allow this interpretation or evoke this emotion where previously there really wasn't much of anything, as opposed to, nah, I want to get rid of that because it's going to because it's going to bog something down. If you can tweak it in a positive way, it's better. And that's a really vague statement. But that's as best as I'm going to be able to communicate that idea. Um, yeah, this, was, uh, this one was on just kind of general design and practice principles and philosophies taken from fighting games. I love to take principles from fighting games and apply it to D&D, uh, to &D, whether I'm a player or a DM. So, uh, yeah, good stuff.